we force ourselves too much. Get too much until we forget just being. Let Hi, I'm Isabel Rolo, and Let welcome to the show. Shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Hello, welcome to Let It Shine Show. Today is with us Robert Pinga. Correct. Welcome to Let It Shine Show, Robert. Uh, thank you for having me on this show. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And for the people that they don't know who is Robert. Who is Robert? Well, I'm, uh, I'm known as the summoner. The, the name of uh, the summoner was given to me by the people of LA because I uh, started doing uh, some events where I can summon uh, UFOs. So actually, they gave me th that name. It's not that I gave myself that name. With the name they gave you? Robert? Uh, summoner. Seminar? Yes. But who is Robert? Who is Robert? Um, that's hard to, to say who is Robert. I'm, 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 Robert is uh, the man that's uh, completing the mission, which is uh, enlightening the, uh, as many people as I can to the fact that uh, terrestrials are real and that uh, the world's going into a different uh, change right now. Um, we're going into a, a um, how would you say, a new cycle of uh, technology. So Robert is in the mission. I'm on uh, a mission. And what involves your mission? What is your mission goal? My mission goal is to reach as many people as I can and, um, so to speak, um, enlighten them to, uh, uh, to let them know that there's more to what's going on with the world than, than they realize because um, uh, I, I don't like to bring religion involved because um, mm -hmm. we've been programmed, um, not programmed, we've been taught for years and years a certain way. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and those ways didn't include terrestrials, which I believe are angels. And I believe in God, I believe in Jesus. But I believe in, in those things in a totally different way now that I have a contact with them. Okay, so your mission is uh, teach us or educate us that is something more than the planet Earth. They're, they're oh, always oh, around. Well. They're guardians. They're guarding the, the planet. And, uh, Which planet? The planet Earth? Where are the guardians? Planet Earth well, or no, the no, universe? No. The so terrestrials talking? guard our planet. They guard you. They, they're like guardians. And what they do is they, uh, you might not see them. You, you know, if you're not looking, mm -hmm. you won't recognize them. But they're always around. But we're talking about here angels or UFO? Well, to me, they're, uh, you, well, I don't like calling them aliens. I don't like calling them uh, UFOs. I, I prefer calling them angels. Angels. But but that brings a lot of flack. A lot of people uh, throw negative remarks at me. So I try to keep it, you know, both angels and UFOs. Because uh, UFOs is the peoples that they are not living here in the earth, but they're coming from different planets in the universe? Well, that I couldn't tell you. Um, no? they <clears throat> They're here in the earth. They're actually everywhere. And uh, they're capable of traveling in and different dimensions. Their, their, their technology is far superior than ours. But they are using technology or they can do it mentally? Both. Both? Yes. So when the, if they are using technology, we're talking about, about more UFO, UFO or angels? Well, I, I'll say it this way. Um, I'll try to put it this way. Um, God made us in his image. Mm -hmm. We are very technological people. I mean, look around us. We did all this, right? Therefore, God's a technological God. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we uh, got to uh, assume that angels do have technology. Oh. And, and, you know, and, and they're capable of doing things that you might consider a miracle, but it's just very, very high technology. I'm a Catholic. I was educated a Catholic, so what yeah. I understand about angels is something different. Um, so these beings, yes. they have other names besides angels? Well, I wouldn't know the names. Uh, I mean, people can give them all kinds of names, you know, but 
I prefer to call them angels because they, they, uh, I discern that they're very good mm -hmm. and uh, they do a lot of things to protect the earth, like I said. Uh, How do they protect the earth? Tell me some Well, example. the meteorite that fell in Russia, uh -huh. somebody caught film footage of these two orbs, which I take a lot of films of, literally blasting that meteorite into a bunch of pieces, mm -hmm. which fell on Russia. But the sonic boom caused a little damage, but nobody got killed. That was amazing. So why so nobody get killed? Because they protected the earth, and they were telling the people that they are there protecting them. And, uh, you know, that's what's happening. It's they're, they're starting to come out so that they don't want to frighten the people. Mm -hmm. So I'm out here trying to let people, you know, more, more or less trying to let them know that they are there. They are invisible beings? Well, they can cloak themselves, correct? They, mm -hmm. Well, they can do all that. They come in, in the special uh, device, a flying device. They've got technology which can do all that. I mean, even the government's working on that technology now. So they are always traveling in his... Uh, device, you will say? Well, their technology can do whatever they de desire to do. You can see it then? Well, when I want to. Uh, I, I, if I, des I don't like to keep them busy doing nothing, you know, mm -hmm. coming to me every time for, for what, you know, they have bus uh, better things to do. But no, I, I actually saw them this morning before I got here. And where did you show this money? Pardon me? What did you show this morning? Explain to me, I was, because uh, well, I never saw I, when any. When I, I got out of the house, and I'm going through my own personal problems, mm -hmm. but uh, they came in a ship to, to let me know that, uh, that I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the mission. Okay. And so th it's like supporting me. They support me. Uh, you are here because you want to give any message to the, to the war? Or? The message is, is that oil is going out. Well, I mean, I, I don't like talking about the oil industry, but mm -hmm. uh, oil is dinosaur technology, it's fossil fuel, it's killing the planet. Mm -hmm. There's it is a lot of money involved. That's why. Uh, the oil industry would prefer to go to an alternative fuel source, mm -hmm. only if they can charge at the same price they're charging now. Okay. So, I mean, that would, I mean that's the lesser of the evil. But, uh, so they, the mission is that they want to let us know that stop to using oil yeah. and using oh, well, the other technology. Right, eliminate nuclear uh, nuclear energy, mm -hmm. eliminate uh, um, um, bio warfare, germ warfare, all those things, you know, different things that mm -hmm. are, especially drugs, you know. Yeah. Drugs is destroying the... How do you start to see these beings? Tell me, when they happen? Well, about 13 years ago. Well, I started seeing them frequently 13 years ago. Okay. And what happened that day that you saw? Um, actually, what happened is that uh, I tried to figure out why they were coming around. Okay. And so I started a relationship with them and trying to understand why they were coming around. You was in your house? You was outside? What happened that outside. day? Outside. You was outside? Uh, outside. They, they used to come around in the sky, and I used to take a lot of pictures. Oh, okay. So you can see it. I would take deep. thousands of pictures and observe them. Okay. And uh, try to understand why they were coming around. And, and, and so after a while, they would come around periodically. Then they would come around more often after, as the years went by. And I felt that telepathically they were... Uh, giving me these messages uh, and this mission that I'm supposed to do this. No more oil. But the mission no? is, right, well, oil has got to go. Oil has got to go. Yeah, and uh, they might, Any hate, other they might hate me. <laughs> Oil's got to go. Uh, we, there's uh, better ways of doing things. Uh, okay. I'll tell you the truth. I, uh, I asked them for some things and they gave it to me. And I prefer yeah, not like to, what? Uh, the, the ultimate alternative fuel cell okay. and the uh, remodification of the human cell in order to uh, have the super cells, a super body, mm -hmm. so these things that were made or that, that are out there couldn't kill you. I mean, Wait, what is they can kill us? AIDS, cancer, mm -hmm. 
all these different viruses these that attack These beans, they can cure anything? They can heal? Well, it's remodifying the, the human DNA. Okay. How they can modify the human DNA? <laughs> Well, it's going, uh, that's going to deep science, but they can do it. They can do it? Sure. They had a special medication for that one? Is it pill? Is it a uh, machine? Well, that, is that it part, dress? Well, what I is can't go into that detail of that because it would, uh, I, I prefer not to go into that. But um, sure, they, they, I mean, come on now. They, they have the, the science for that. Already. Because I'm asking you that. Right now, I hear a lot about creams, like steam cell screen, so yeah, well, I was wondering, what's coming in the bottle, this, or, or maybe it's like a device? Well, I was privileged to see um, what you call a flask, big sparkler sized bottles. Oh, with something hearts, that you drink? Heart, well, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Hearts being grown, like harvested, oh. uh, grown hearts and livers, and all these different things can be grown. So uh, what happens is um, most people, uh, they reject things that are put mm -hmm. into them from other people yeah. because it doesn't match them. But with the DNA of a human being and with their technology, they can specially grow a heart that is perfect for you. Okay, his technology. But they, if they are living outside of their planet, they have a different body, right? Or they look like us. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know. Um, I, I've, I've met a couple, but that's it. Yeah, how like they look like the couple that you like met? Like humans. Like human? Yeah, a little different. You think that it's anybody like out of the space that is living in there? For what? example, here in Costa Mesa? Pardon me? You think that it's any of these people living? Oh, I, I, I couldn't tell you. Here? Angels could go anywhere they want. So you think that they can live like the rest of us sure. here? Well, they, when they want to, when they want to do whatever they're doing, they can pop in and out, just like, just like, uh, whatever they want to do. I mean, come on now, they're the, they're the masters. But you hear anybody that is out of the space that is living with us? I couldn't tell you. No. No. Because you don't want to tell me, or because you don't know? I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. I wouldn't know that. Okay, so you say that you call and contact them, whatever you want. What I do is, mm -hmm. is I go and I summons them for the public okay and i i announce it on on youtube and i uh invite everybody skeptics okay. um people that want uh debunkers everybody i invite everybody i don't so when they show up i have sometimes a mm -hmm. hundred people there and then i go through the methods that i've learned over a period of time to summons them and they do arrive and they do take photos and, and footage okay. i've done this over uh publicly, I think about 20 times now. Um, I couldn't count them, I've done it so much. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube. Um, uh, let me see where I'm going with this. <sighs> well, what I'm asking you is like, if for example, I don't see any. Right. Stick what I can do to see it and believe it? Well. Yeah. Apply the three rules in the Bible. Okay, Knock, tell me. and the door will be open. Seek and you shall find, and ask and you shall receive. If okay. you do it constantly enough, I think in anything that you endeavor and trying to do, uh -huh. that uh, it'll happen for so you. So if I want to meet them, I only need to go outside um, and ask them telepathically? Exactly. How I do it? Exactly. Well, ask them telepathically with an honest heart. Mm -hmm. and uh, true art, and look in the sky, because you have the power, we all have the power to look in the sky with our eyes mm -hmm. and telepathically ask for them to show you something. Um, we do it when we pray, we do it telepathically. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's, uh, that's what we do. We're, we're, we're made to do that, and they respond. And uh, you say that the technology is more advanced and you call them angels because, you call them angels because there are good beings that are here to protect us. Right, uh, they're, they're angelic. Everything in the space, in the universe, is good? No, I think there's good and bad. Good? Well, oh. I knew you were going there. No, there is, 
there's good and bad. There's okay. hot and cold. There's right and left. Okay. And there's yin and yang. And <laughs> but the beans that you see, they are good. Sure. They okay. Are good. So your friends are good. And the reason <laughs> why I say they're good okay. is because uh, w when I do what I do, the birds come around. They they do have oh. a. They have, we can get bears. Um, falcons, hummingbirds, really? uh, hawks. They are outside today. Well, they come around the when studio? they're around. Really? Yeah, so they have a relationship with them, the animals. Oh. Um, so I, 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 you know, they, uh, I feel the animals know a lot more than we do, and they're a lot more connected to mm -hmm. the, than the general public or the people. So it's a very... Um, so I, I discern that they're good, otherwise they wouldn't be around when mm -hmm. they're around. Oh. That's why I discern they're good. And, and, and they haven't done anything to harm me. And when some people talk about abductions and all this science fiction and this nonsense oh, that's out there, I don't believe it. No? <laughs> no, of course no, not. No, that one was my next question because I was wondering how long it will be taking for them to travel to Spain from California, you know? They can because go from here to the North Pole in a fraction of a second. Really? They no. take pet too? Depending on because what, I always travel no, with my pet. Depending, <laughs> on, depending on what they want to do, yeah, I, okay. I, I have no idea. Yeah, the, the trip to, to Europe is a little bit too long for me. Well, <laughs> so I want something short. Yeah, they, they can operate at whatever they I mean, like I'm saying, they can do what they want. Mm. And uh, they do. Why you take that one so personal? What? Yeah, if they are here to protect everybody, why you are taking this like you own I'm missing? taking a personal um, uh, quest. Why? Uh, because I'm told to do so. Because um, They told you to do this? Well, telepathically, oh. yes. They told me to do it, and I was chosen to do it, and that's why I'm doing it. Um, time is short. Mm -hmm. The planet's dying. Um, if you look around, the drugs are everywhere. You know? They tell you um, to look uh, for a place outside of their planet to live? No. Or just taking care no, of no, their no. planet? We can take care of ourselves. Yeah. We just here. Better, yes. Oh, I need to. We need to prepare the, the suitcase to, to move out. We need to out. take care of this place. Yeah, okay. And um, that's and if we all get together and do it. They're gonna. If we don't do it, they're gonna do it for us. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what I'm telling people. You know, they get ready because the, I'm sort of like trying to ease the shock when they do mm -hmm. show the world that they they are there and and they're not playing games. And okay. And so the world won't be in shock when they do come, because I already went out there and told them. So if you if they come, you you can always say, oh, I'm not in too much shock because Robert said they were there and he went to his event mm -hmm. and, and you and you you heard it. So when people hear that it's possible, when it does happen, they won't be so scared. Period. When you tell about these beings. Mm -hmm. They normally believe you, or what is the reaction that you found in the mood of the people? Well, I've, I've had people that were st um, staunch debunkers that were totally against what I do. Why? And, and why? Because for whatever reason, because... Uh, they don't believe in yeah, life? Whatever reason they... they Outside they, there? Well, whatever reason, I, I don't know. Um, okay. But now they're, they're uh, truly believers, mm -hmm. and uh, there's some of my... Uh, my uh, you might say my uh, strongest followers. Okay. Any message for Let It Shine Show um, <laughs> for our viewers? Yeah, keep your head to the sky. Yeah. Look for the clouds that tell you that why. That one is my favorite, uh, my favorite quote. Oh, yeah? Look to the sunshine and you will not see the shadows. Right. Thank you. And you know what? The sun is much more than the sun. It does. Uh, I can go into a, about the sun. I know a lot about the sun. Yeah. Yes. Why you, you learned that one from here? Or no, from I them? learned it from them. And what did you learn from them? Um, that the sun really is a giant computer that throws life throughout the universe. And every one of us receives its data mm -hmm. that keeps us alive. And it controls everything. So when it's too hot, it's because one of the cable was mm. coming by no, or that broken? I could, that I couldn't tell you. No? Yeah. Because if it's a computer area... Well, what, what I'm to trying hack? to say is put in layman's terms, it, it does control a lot more than, than okay. you realize. And, it, and the sun is very... Uh, it's much more than sun. 
So it does a lot of things. You just have to know what it does. And if we don't know what it does, then we don't know what it does. But the terrestrials do. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for coming thank to you. Let It Shine show. Thank you. And uh, for the uplifting message. Oh, Is anything you. else that you would like to say? Any other message? Um, besides keep you head well, to the sunshine? just have faith that the world is not, it's not doomsday for us. But, it, you know, if we keep on going in the direction that we're going, uh, naturally, uh, we don't, t if we don't uh, take action and stop letting corporate America run this planet, because uh, they're only after a profit, if we don't start taking an action and being uh, running the planet ourselves, the people, mm -hmm then naturally... Um, so they are calling for anarchy? Of course not. No? No, of course not. Organized, uh, organized peaceful uh, changes. And, then, and that's done not by anarchy. Okay. Because there's enough anarchy already with wars in Afghanistan and all that. That's anarchy. Yeah, because it's part that's, of the that, human. That's this anarchy. When, when people drop 1,000-pound bombs and level big buildings, that's anarchy, you know, and, and, and all that kind of stuff. That's anarchy. Now, here we only speak about shiny stuff. Yes. Peace, sh love. Um, exactly. Peace and love. Stuff. And so organized, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we, we are the people. So let's get together and make changes. I like that one. We are the people. Let's get together and make change. Thank you. Let's let it shine. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your message. Thank you so much for coming to Let It Shine show. You're welcome. Okay. And just remember, people, just let it shine. Be happy. Let it shine. There's no really uh, ritual or ceremonial thing. It's. Uh, it's just really simple. Uh, what I do is I look in the sky and I and I'll find an area of blue sky, which is, there's not, not there's nothing here yet. But I'll just pick a target and I'll look really deep and as uh, intensely as I can into that target and uh, telepathically uh, tell them to appear. When you see a bird not like flapping his wings, Yeah, I'm going to do it. Right? And then as you go up, you see a circle where there's some parting. I mean, there's a, there's a bright light. The sun is coming from that little beaming bright part. It's above that where you can see it. It's breaking oh, up. I see, I see a I know, it's hard to talk about where like in the sky. Color, right? Well, I'm going to do it right it's there. Right it's rainbow right color right in there. Yeah, well, what do you see? A white? I saw a saucer black. Oh, black. Black saucer. Black. Dark. I don't, I don't know black. Dark. Have you seen anything yet? It wasn't yeah. black. It was dark. It was above that bright spot, right? It's moving. Is that a bird? Yes, exactly. Right there. That spot, right there. Okay, there's something way out there. Over there. Over there. Is that a plane? With the lightest part of the. Way over there. Is that a bird? It's a bird. It's a bird. It's a plane. Way over there. It's a bird, Joe. What are those, though? It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> there, I see them. Oh, no, those are birds. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of birds down there. Yeah. Flashy. Flashy. Tell you where you are. You know where those birds are, are right now? Is that where you said to look? Yeah, it is.
know where those birds are now? Are? It was, it was is that what it was? Right now. Oh, it went in the clouds. It's without her. It went in the clouds. Right. See, I'm hiding there. There was one of them. Um, right now, I'll show you in a minute. Do you see how they're circling? Uh, two. Up there? Two just flew by like this. They're here. And then uh, yeah, it started recording again. Yeah, and then another one went. It's not yeah. a bird. No, it's not a bird. Are you still on those? Dundee? Very high. Andrew, you got it? Yeah, he's got it. He's just taking pictures. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. it? You still got it up there? It? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. See, they're coming up. Where? Right up. I see it. It's high. Sorry. So it's hard to see what I want. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I wish I could see it. it. Yeah. It's right there in the clear. The white way. You see the clear and nice getting to the darker shade? Oh, it's green. It's like, it's, oh, it's green. Oh, I know. Yeah, where's the green? green? Yeah, it's, it's green. Hard to see. No, it's in no, well, that's one. I took a look at it in my binoculars. Yeah, but I just got it. This is right on. It's going away. That's one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's moving, too. Right here. Right here. It was so close. There's five. You see five. Good eyes. That's one. Right. Good eyes. Right. 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 Robert, see the surveillance plane that goes by? It was, it was, it was black and then it turned to green. Hey, is it still there, guys? Yes. It went through the cloud. Now where is it? He still has it? He still has it? Where is it, guys? It went really clear. Is it still there? No, I don't see it anymore. It was, it was, did you see it, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you still got it, bro? Yeah. Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm Obviously, right? Did you see it? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. What did you see? Here it goes again. Here it goes again. Keep on looking. It's going to happen in real time now. Keep on looking. One time over here on 4th of July. Any second now. Right there. Oh That's not a bird. This whole thing is to make the public aware that there's hope for the world. You know, there's hope that there's uh, high intelligence out there that want to uh, help us.